Okay, so this is part two of our number guessing game, and we're picking up where we left off for part one. So part one, and I'll just go file, save to your computer, and I'm just going to number guessing game part one. Um, so at the end of this, I'll save it as part two. So part one, we set up our variables and we did our output. So we can see, um, just go a bit bigger, think of a number between 1 and 100, you get three guesses, and it sets this random number there. So what we need to do is we need to have a look at what we're actually doing. We need to say, is the number of guesses, the number of player guesses, less than the maximum number of guesses? So that's kind of where we're going. We know when we start the game we haven't made any guesses, but the computer doesn't. So we need to actually check that. And this is labeled incorrect. If it is less than, we say, okay, have a guess. And the player says a number, and we set the guess to the player input, and we increase our number of guesses by one. And then we say, is the guess equal to our random number that we set previously? And if it is, we go correct, game over. If it's not, we output wrong, come up here, is the number of guesses less, and we go down. So those are back to front, so they're wrong. So if, it, if we've made three guesses, we come here, we go, output too many guesses, game over, stop. Um, how do we actually loop this? We could do lots of if things like that, but in a game situation, we generally have this game loop, and it's like game over, um, end of game. So we're going to create a new variable, and we're going to say put all of this all of this into that loop and we're going to say is game over true and if it's not true we're going to do the loop and then when we come to this section here we're going to set game over to true so it'll exit out of the loop um, and the other thing we're going to do is we need to set it to false to start with and then we can follow this properly and how we do that I said we're going to create this new variable like there's lots of ways to do this. This is just an easy, not an easy way, but this is just one way to do it. So we're going to create a new variable, make a new variable, game over. And we're going to, when we start, we're actually going to set game over to false. So we're going to say game over is not true. Game over, no. So we've got game over, push that, it goes to false. Stop that quickly. Um, now our loop is in control and we want to repeat we're going to repeat a bunch of stuff until and we use a comparator and we're going to say until game over is true so while game over is anything but true it's going to do this loop now what is the loop so i'm going to put that there i'm going to construct here then drop into our repeat loop. So is the number of player guesses less than the number maximum number of guesses? So I'll just unclick that. So I go. In. So I've actually said if. So if is it, and we've got a yes or a no. So I'm going to use this. If number of guesses is less than maximum number of guesses, do something here. Otherwise, we do something else. So let's do the condition. So we want the less than, and we know we want the maximum number of guesses, and we want the number of player guesses. So is the number of player guesses less than the maximum number of guesses? So if it is true, it's less than, we're going to continue our game. Otherwise, so if it's not, we go out, put too many guesses, and game over. So let's do that. So let's do the output and game over a bit. So we go output too many guesses. And to game over means we need to go set game over to true. So that's just saying game is over. So, and that will exit out of there and it will continue the loop down there. Now, if we haven't had enough guesses, this is the game logic in here. This is our main game logic. So, we go in and we're going to go, I'll 
given it to ask the player to guess. To us, we use the sensing, and there's this ask thing. Guess and wait. So we've done that. Set the guess to player input. So we've got variable. We've got this. Set guess to now player input. Under sensing, you'll see this answer thing. So I set the guess to whatever our answer is. And the reason we don't just use the answer thing is because we might need to ask for some other information. So we're going to store it in a variable, and then we can reuse this answer um, variable here. So we've done that. So is the guess equal to our random number? So yeah, we've done these if statements before. Now this if statement is just a Oh, yeah, no, we'll do this if else. So if operator is equal to, and we know it is our random number, and we know it is our guess. If our random number is equal to, if our guess is equal to a random number, if our guess would be output correct, game over. So let's go to output. And I'm going to say winner. And to tell us it's game over, we set game over to true, and it'll exit out the loop. Um, so we put that up inside the top one here, so that's inside there. And if it's not, we need to output wrong. So um, we're going to go output, and we're going to say wrong. We can say lots of other things, but we'll do that. And all this goes inside our repeat loop here. So let's see if this is works. Now, testing code, I'm going to test it for taking three guesses. I'm going to test it for getting it right on the first one, getting it right on the second one, getting it right on the third one. So there's lots of um, and getting it wrong three times. So let's run the code. Playing a number guessing game, 100. Now, get three guesses. My first guess, I'm going to guess all three wrong. So I know it's 62, so I'm going to 55. should say wrong. Guess is one, wrong, and nine. And it's wrong. Oh, why is it not doing that? Because I left out increased number of player guesses by one. So I'm not actually increasing a number of player guesses. So when I guess, set guess to answer, I need to go set net, set guess, um, set number of player guesses, or do I set or do I change? I actually change, so I'll drag that back. Um, set, uh, where did that go? Oh no, I've broken it, but I'm gonna fix this up first. Um, I need to go variables and I need to change. So where I go guess, we go change number of player guesses by one. If guess is, so I go here, underneath that, I go underneath that, I do that. So now, if I run it again, one in a hundred, you get three guesses. Guess one is two, wrong. Guess two is three, wrong. Guess four is wrong. Too many guesses. Now I probably need to say game over. I probably need to say something at the end. Um, I'm going to be nice and I'm just going to say thanks for playing. I might actually output, um, I might actually, when you have too many guesses, I'm actually going to output the number was. So I know I'm going to do a join. The number was, um, let's say, variable, and it is random number. The number was, and I'm going to say to it wrong, the number was, and just so you know what the number was. So let's do that again. So a little bit of testing. This is pretty much done, um, but I'm just testing. 
guess one. I'm going to see the wrong. Ah, why did it go? Because I put that in the wrong spot. It should be. For those people who spotted that error before and are yelling at me, I can't hear you because it's a video. So I'll put it, instead of putting it there, I actually put it there. So that was a logic error. So some people would have picked it up and gone, Mr. Roberts, you made a mistake. And I'm going, can't hear you. It's video. I did this yesterday, the day before. Um, so let's see, wrong. So it goes there, comes back up here. Guess two is four. It's going to go wrong. Uh, come back up here, go guess. So we're at this one. I'm going to go five, wrong. It's going to come down here. It's too many guesses. Number was 40. Thanks for playing. Um, I'm going to just test the winner section. Um, and this is why I put the random number here so I can actually guess it without having to play it 60 times. 74, winner. Thanks for playing. There you go. Um, so that's about it. That is our number guessing game. Um, that's the basics of it. I'll leave that there for, so people can see it. Um, some tricky things in there. Um, we learned quite a bit. So we first video, we set up the variables. We did the joining of strings. Um, and we set the random number. For this one, we did a game loop. So we've got this game loop. Everything inside here is the game. And then we tested, is our number of guesses less than our maximum number of guesses? If it is, we say, have a guess. We set our guess variable to whatever the answer, whatever the player says, and we increase the number of guesses. Now, you might have seen me leave that out, and we saw what happens when you do. It never ends. And but we change that so eventually it will exit out that loop of here. Um, so if we say if our guess is greater is equal to our random number, when I set our game over to true, so when we hit the bottom here, it comes up here, game over is true, so we finish the loop. If our guess is not, we say wrong. Now if we wanted to do hinting, we'd have to put our hinting in here. Um, we'd have to say, so that's a hint for extension. Um, up here, if I, um, we've got, if it's great, if it's equal to or greater than, goes too many guesses, tells us what the number is, sets game over true, exits out. So that's our number guessing game. Um, there's a couple of extensions we could do. We could put another game loop around, say, do you want to play a number guessing game? Yes or no. And if it's yes, we'll play the game and we'll repeat it through. Just this, so we put this inside a loop. The other one is we could um, add in some money. So when we start, you get money equals 100. Um, do you want to play? You get 100. It costs $5 to play. Yep, I want to play. So minus 5 on the money. If you win, plus 10. Um, do you want hints? Yes, I do. Cost costs $2 a hint. Um, so we could do lots of things like that. So um, but leaving that for you. So that's the end of this video. And we will um, have a go at extending it later.